hey what's up everybody in today's video I'm going to document the API using this scramble so let's get started I have a clinic management API which I'm going to document it here using this tool first off uh, we need to require this So now I think we just need to require it and now let's visit this endpoint docs api docs slash api there we go so we get this uh, documentation out of the box we have appointments listing for displaying doctors and things like that uh, let's test this uh, test this login one incoming auth and destroy authentication section let's do that this is for registration let's uh, register one doctor word let's see let's send this request all right it looks like image uh, yeah so we got uh, the doctor created with response it's a really cool uh, interface i should say right now if we want to access any protected route any authenticated route if we send api request we get unauthenticated because there is no way to insert any bearer token that we get during our login session so after we log in, we get the bearer token and there is no way to insert in this API documentation. So if we go over here in security section, uh, they ask us to configure like this, what kind of authentication that we are using in our application. So if we are using uh, a sanctum, we will be using this because uh, we need to send bearer token like this in sanctum and Laravel password. So if you have any other uh, requirement like API keys that you are using, then these are other options. So let's go into our applications app service provider and then I have already written code and commented it out. So we just need to replace this with HTTP bearer. So if we get uh, go to the documentation, just get their code and replace it with beer now if we go ahead and refresh it now we get this token field uh, where we can insert our bearer token that we get from login there we go now we can we are authenticated and we can get the real response all right few things that we might want to change here uh, like these names these names come by default uh, like um, from the controller name especially so if we see this email verification notification or uh, if we can see this registration so this is the register endpoint API register if we see this in our registered user controller here look I have added this tags so whatever you put this uh, here it will be displayed there like this register and point if i refresh this here we go and the this summary uh, comes from these comments that you put over here and there are a few other things that we can change um, if we look at this so so by default it reads these uh, these uh, resource class and uh, if there are resource class it will read that and generate the response object as well as other um, so if you have this pagination response then you might need to add uh, this kind of uh, comment over there um, also it detects these kind of errors by default so we don't need to write what uh, will be the uh, response structure whenever error occurs so by default these are detected by this tool and you'll be provided with those kind of response let's check that 
here we have response example let's go to patient so there we have 401 so how it will look in 403 so the major thing that we need to focus is on writing um, let me give you example of this appointment controller so our major focus should be on writing these resource class and um, book up resource class and these request classes so whatever kind of validation that you add here will be displayed over there so if we write our request class and response classes API resources classes well defined then we're done we don't need to do anything extra here so we need if we want to book appointment these are the things and this is the response that we'll get all right hope you like this too i'll see you on another video bye